Well, Nine on Your Side Weekend Morning Edition is keeping you up to date on any news that you may have missed with our Week in Review. A recap of some of this week's top headlines. Pitt County employees are able to bring their concealed weapons to work now following 7-2 to two vote by county commissioners. Any employee with a concealed carry permit can take their gun inside several county buildings. The man who claims he can make America great again released a new policy statement that calls for a total and complete shutdown of Muslims entering the United States. Presidential candidates on both sides criticized Trump's announcement. Supreme Court takes all allegations of misconduct very seriously. You guys can expect a thorough investigation. Justin Michael Abbott was brought into court by military officials after being charged with multiple counts of indecent exposure, both on base and in Onslow County. Governor Pat McCrory has a Republican challenger joining him in his quest for re-election next year. Former Republican State Representative Robert Brawley made his announcement on his Facebook page. A Jacksonville man charged in the murder of his girlfriend and five-month-old baby is now facing new charges. The Onslow County Sheriff's Office says 26-year-old Sebastian Mendez tried to pay someone $9,000 to kill a witness in his case. Cars packed Lenore County's Lucky Dollar Sweepstakes on the last day it can stay open without possibly facing criminal charges. Owners were given 30 days to shut down in mid-November after years of legal wrangling.